Well, hello boys and girls and welcome back to the uh, Little Farmer's Farm with me, Guru Mafinda. And um, we're going to be starting off some alliums today. The allium family in the form of Paris Silver Skin Onions, Pickling Onions, which we're going to be starting today. Today being the 19th of February, 2022. And it's a Saturday. I was on this morning, if you saw, if you caught that earlier episode, and got called away to an emergency to pick up uh, me, me, me wonderful mother-in-law. But I didn't go, me, me wife went, and she ended up taking home another little old lady. They got stranded in the snow and bad weather, and there were no taxis, so uh, she, took them, uh, she took them home, rescued them. Uh, so yeah, we've got the Paris Silver Skin Onions, we've got the Blue Soleil's Leeks, Superb for flavour. These are ready for planting now for January, February, under glass, which they are going to be. And uh, also, lastly but not leastly, we've got the Jolent, which is another leak. And, and again, now's the time. It says January, but January is going to be like the south of England, really. We're in the uh, sort of mid to north of England, zone 8. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be starting them now, which is sort of like the, we're into the third week of April now. Or actually, we're into the fourth week of April, or we will be to, uh, no, the 19th, isn't it? So, uh, we're past the, the midway point of, of April, of February. Ignore me, I'm thick. All right, I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so first things first, it pays to be prepared. When you're uh, when you're going to be starting your seeds now, it's, we're trying to do things on a budget this year for everybody, so it's not going to cost too much money to grow your crops. Oh, okay. Now these are a byproduct of when you buy grapes here in the UK. You go to Asda's or Tesco's or whoever you're taking from. And uh, these are like punnets of grapes. At the moment at Asda, it's two punnets for two pounds. So the kids and, and ourselves eat them. And then what you're left with is these um, clear plastic tubs that they came in. Now, if you look at the bottom of those, they've got the holes in. And those are going to be the drainage holes um, for our little seed starts. So the, the next thing we've got to do, really, I mean, these, as I say, they, they just get thrown into the waste and they become... Um, they either become new plastic products or they just go to landfill, which is what we don't want. We want to reuse, repurpose and recycle as best as we can all the time. Okay. So um, I'm going to be sieving the compost through this. So you'll need one of these as well to do it the way that we're doing it. That's a sieve, a soil sieve um, with five millimetre holes in it. Five millimetre holes in it. So that gets filled with compost. Now this is just, you can use any old compost for this really. When I say old, you can use any compost for this. We're using uh, some shop bought stuff in the way of clover potting compost. We'll probably not be able to get that um, soon. Although it's environmentally sustainable, it says here. It is a clover one, so it's a, it's a peat based uh, compost don't don't judge me too harshly boys and girls it's what we had it's what we had in the shop but this will need to be saved because as you look at that there's some quite big lumps in it and you'll see when I rattle it down and sieve the compost thusly you're going to be left with quite a few lumps and bumps in there so you'll see in a second now what I mean So rattling it like that, keep, keep turning it round and pitching it at different angles. And all the fine material then falls through the five millimetre holes that we've got in this sieve. And then what you're left with is all the lumpy, bumpy clag that hasn't quite composted down properly. See that? Quite a lot in there. That doesn't go to waste though because uh, we're going to put this into this bucket and then this bucket will be putting our we'll be putting that into our compost to further rot down over the season and then we'll have we should have a, a finer mix at the end of it 
So I should knock it through into the Alright, so that's a finer mix that we've got there and with that then we can either add in some uh, vermiculite which we might well do, in fact we will do we'll put some of this uh, vermiculite in which is a sort of a medium to fine grade vermiculite It's not crucial that you do this but it helps to break up the growing medium a little bit and allow once the seedlings start off and they're spreading the, the um, roots under the ground into the growing medium, they've got a bit of space to roam about, to, to roam about and move about in. I'll mix some of the old stuff in with it as well. When I say old, it's just from last week that we had left behind. We don't add any nutrition into the mix at all at this stage because what you've got within the seed is... Um, you've got the, the materials for the for the seedlings life actually within the seed and so until you pot them on later you don't have to put any nutrition at all in with them they'll just use up what they what they have from the seed itself establish the root system to try and seek out that nutrition within your cells within these and then hopefully you'll get that spread through there of the root system and then when you pot the leeks on and the onions on later then it's at that stage, if you do pot them on, you don't have to, you can probably sow them or plant them directly into the soil, into the into the planting stations where you're gonna be growing them on. And then at that stage, you'll want nutrition in the soil. You need to have the nutrition in the soil at that stage. But at this stage, don't. All right, so we'll get those, um, we'll get that sorted out. All I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be filling them up like this. Just pop it in like that, give it a shake, give it a drop down like that, firm it a little, a little touch. And then that's your bed then, to sow your seeds. Alright, so I'll do that with these three now, and then I'll come back to you, okay? Okay. So here's our first lot and we're going to be doing the uh, Paris Silver Skins into here. We've got about 500 seeds so we're going to be successionally sowing these through the season. A good tip really is at the, at the base of your seed pack, um, don't rip it off at the top because you want to know exactly what's inside it. But there's a little flap there that you can pull out, carefully pull out, and you can extract the inner seed pack, which is this sort of foily seed pack that's inside. You can take that out, just pull the top off it, and um, you've got a little a little opening in there for your seeds to come out. Okay, so we're going to scatter about say 30 or so in there. Take a pinch, and then thinly, thinly sow them. You can so I'm quite thinly. You can do them in batches, these in the cells, which we probably will be doing as well. But uh, we'll do it like this for the time being. All right, in there go, give them a sprinkle over the top. Which again, you just tamp down a touch. Basically, there you are. They're buried about, don't know, five millimetres, something like that. Quarter inch below the surface now. So I'm going to give that a spritz um, 
over the top i'm going to give it a spritz of water but also these are going to, going to be going into a tray in a bit with a little bit of water in so that it through osmosis um capillary action rather it'll absorb the moisture into the um into the pot and fire them seeds on them seeds once they get damp and and they'll get the idea they're, they're underwater they're getting damp they can crack the seed and hopefully we'll get some results but we're going to be successionally sowing these so we'll see how we get on with this first batch once you've uh, you've done that you can just then seal up the package give it a couple of goings over just to keep them relatively contained keep that moisture out and then back into this into the pack the outer pack like that and no one's any the, any the wiser we'll just put those safely to one side for, for later you know every couple of weeks we can do one of these then and we'll get a succession up until well it's saying there up until June so February March April May June yeah and there's 500 seeds there so every couple of weeks really that's done now as I say we'll give it a spritz of water on the top and um, I'll get all these done first but what remains with that one obviously is to put the label on it so just get a plain label like we've got there I'll write that up stick it in Bob's your uncle yeah Paris silver skin or Paris silver I know what uh, what they are pickle onion and then the date on the back when you've sold them which is the 19th of the 2nd 2022 so when that goes into there and they can be moved on now okay everybody so they're all um they're all in there now thinly scatter seeded and uh, all that remains now is to give them a spritz now we've got this little spritzer and just liberally over the top moisten the so moisten the soil moisten the growing medium this is just normal water nothing else The mist, a mist sprayer, just to penetrate that probably top centimetre of soil, and hopefully the seeds then will get the idea when they get um, the moisture on them. They'll get the idea. They're going to be going into a, about a centimetre of water as well, which will be soaked up by the growing medium, and then no more. That'll be it then, especially this time of year because the weather conditions are you know they're not they're not hot it's not hot conditions so we these are going to be left inside the um the polytunnel and inside a cold frame that we've got down there i'll put them in there now so that you can see where they're going and uh bob's your uncle really that's it that's all there is to it all right okay there you have it in with the beans and peas um so not very excited at the moment, obviously, boys and girls, but in a couple of weeks' time, hopefully, we'll get some shoots coming up from there. And then in about five or six months' time, we'll have leeks. <coughs> okay, boys and girls. So those are the leeks and um, silver skin onions on the go. Uh, tune in tomorrow, though, because we're going to be starting off some... Uh, well, we're going to be chitting our seed potatoes. And we're also going to be starting off some uh, Caraflex F1 cabbage and also some Zaragoza F1 cauliflower which are these we're getting those on the go about 25 of each we're having and then maybe later in the month we'll start off the uh, calabrese or broccoli and get them on the go brussels sprouts we've got we're going to start them off but yeah it's all it's all going on down on the little farmer's farm Take care of yourselves and each other. Remember, we love you all. And uh, if you're a lady, you're fantastic, fragrant and beautiful. If you're a man, well, you're not that. You're whatever you are, aren't you? But uh, here's another one for Pete. Now that the snow's gone, we've uncovered the garlic. 
and the onions. All right, guys. Catch you later. Keep growing with your heads down. And if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. And hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow for more seed starts. Right. Bye-bye now, guys. See you after.